All right, this is uh, basically like showing you have our Tire Watch X2 system. We've been working on like an app for this. Um, this first version of the app is like basically it will need some improvement and stuff, and we've already like working on version two. But it's just basically get you like, sort of feedback and uh, mainly on the functionality. But if you have any thoughts on the design as well, like shoot them through because we just want to test obviously on lots of different setups and people with different phones and and if you jump in and out of your car and like and like what happens um, and like what we'd actually like to have on the app so uh, to download the app just this is for like an iPhone iOS you just uh, go into here and just search TWTPMS and you'll see OBD2 TWTPMS comes up um, just uh, like download this onto your phone then open it up so this is what it looks like here just go like it's just so just go allow and okay it's just getting other like permissions to give like warnings and stuff now basically you're probably going to have these sensors already on your car um, and caravan or you might not have them already on there or like, or like whatnot um, or go through sort of both processes at the moment but anyway so majority of people probably car and caravan you get to the screen here click on like edit click on auto pairing and now we can click into the sensor positions so we'll go over here um, so this is the front left tire of the car so basically what we want to do is click on the front left tire of the car you can see you get this little screen I like, I like a pop up here uh, what you will see on the screen can change depending if the sensors have been activated or not so like, so what we've done is we've got the pressure to come up below, so you can see what actual like sensor you are like using. So if I screw the sensor here off to the edge of it, now like one of these, if it like wasn't on here, it would like pop up. Well, if it was here already, you can see this gone to zero. So I know it's that sensor there. So I screw that. That's fine. I can screw it back on now. Um, that's the front left tire done. Do the rear lift now. Actually, the sun's quite bright there. I'll do the um. I'll do our next tire. Do our driver's side tire. So again, these have been activated because we've screwed them on and off just before. But it could be coming up blank in here. But as soon as you screw off the sensor, you can see that pressure changes on that TPMS one ID so that's the one we're going to put there confirm so we we'll go around and you do all the ones on the car you can click like save once it's all done and you'll see it takes us up back to this like, screen here and our pressures are coming through um, so if we unscrew this sensor here for example front like right sensor we get a alarm coming up if we screw it back on the pressure comes back so in here you've got sound so you can turn the alarm on or off or adjust the volume that's fairly easy um, then you'd be say then you want to be like, oh, I want to do my caravan ones as well you just go back and like to edit click on the auto pairing and go and choose or whatever caravan sense you want to do so I'm going to choose this one here and in like this case I'm just going to grab a brand new sensor out of the box that hasn't been screwed onto anything. So this sensor, like 44, I just got out of the box. I'm going to screw this on to this valve here. Um, so this will probably add an extra one into this screen that we haven't seen before. So you can see a fourth one did just pop up like then. I'm unsure which one it is, so I can actually screw it off and it will go from its pressure to zero. So it is that one down the bottom. Screw that back on, choose it, confirm, save. So oh, now you can see we have a pressure in our caravan as well. Um, this obviously, these are a bit small, so this is like something that does need to be improved, and we are we have that a, a bit better on version two. But that's basically your car and your uh, so caravan uh, like sensors hooked up. If your caravan isn't on, push X to disconnect it. Fairly straightforward. Um, you like settings in here, 
you got your uh, you got your front high pressure, front like low pressure, standby high, standby like low. We'll put a description of what each one of these are. In our next version, uh, we actually have each like sensor. Are you able to choose high and low? Um, and then we have the like, rear low and like rear high, and then the high temperature for, uh, for all. So that's how you set your uh, high and low pressures on there. So again, there's a, a there is a few improvements we have in like in like version two, but what we're after is to get like a, like a number of customers to test it and say, hey, this is what we want, or this is not working, or I find this is a pain, um, and that will at least allow us to like like understand what's going on. So we will shoot this out. We'll we we'll pretty much an email this out to customers that already have this so if you have an iPhone this is the video you watch if you can give it a go that's great if you don't want to no sweet you don't have to but it is something we'll be improving on and working on in the future